Today, Omaha Beach looks different in many ways, but there still rest many markers of the past. One of the most visible items left behind is the massive structure that the Allies used in order to conduct the invasion. While many soldiers came across the water and onto the beach via landing craft, it takes much more than just men to conduct an amphibious invasion of this size. Think about it, all the necessary thousands of tons of trucks, tanks, artillery, ammunition, food supplies, etc. A port is needed. With that being said, all of the ports in the surrounding area were heavily defended, so Allied planners decided to build their own to avoid further casualties. Both Gold Beach and Omaha Beach were set to feature portable harbors that were built in the UK before being shipped to Normandy and then pieced together on the beach. These structures came to be known 